Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. You ready? Are uh, you ready? All right, so here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling. And if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Takedown attempts starting to pile up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Huge knee lands. Well, how about this striking display tonight as he lands yet another knee right there. Several have already landed in this round, and you can see they're really starting to take their toll on the opposition at this point in the fight. And there's another takedown attempt. Big kick lands. Oh, nice offering there by Tony Ferguson. We'll see if he can follow it up here, Jim. I mean, he usually does. He does not let guys off the hook. Tony Ferguson is a guy that has a killer mindset. But when he gets you hurt, he's looking to finish. Oh, oh start looking at the finish now because he's got to go very, very bad. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Well, he's got him softened up here. Back mount now. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Tony Ferguson. Just hard to know what's coming from Tony Ferguson. Hard to know which leg he's going to lead with. Throwing that jab, no, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that one. Sit down, take a breath, and slow that All right, here we go. Okay, now, Keith, you ready? You ready? Let's go. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. El Kukui gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, nice trip to change the level. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. 
Three minutes to go. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. And in terms of the efficiency, landing with 57% accuracy against Tony Ferguson. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter. Young man, put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Ooh. That punch no good. Look at it, look at it. 45 seconds remain in the round. Strong defense there to block the shot. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Final seconds here. Boom! Oh. What a round. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Listen, we lost that last round. We're coming down on the scoreboard. I need you to go out there and fight smart. If you start... All right, last round. You ready? You ready? Here we go, five minutes remain in the fight. What a beautiful take Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Sound strike on the ground. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big, powerful punch land. Now he's back in range. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. Oh, he landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice punch by Ferguson. Lands the right hand. Checks the leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, effective strike there by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. And both guys really throwing with a four. Just misses with that big right hand. Oh, 
Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Straight punch land. Yeah, it's close, it's close. All right, so a close, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' court cards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, Hobbs and Boys, Kamada! All right, so the judges have rendered 